Today, more than half of the world's young people live in the Asia-Pacific region. That's 60% of all people between 10 and 24. Their potential and their contributions are critical to the current and future well-being of the whole planet. Unfortunately, many of these young people face sexual and reproductive health challenges that can hold them back. Pregnancy-related complications are one of the leading causes of death for girls between 15 and 19 among developing countries. There are about 6 million adolescent pregnancies in the Asia-Pacific region each year, with many of these pregnancies among girls married as children, under the age of 18 and in some cases many years younger. There are nearly 11 million unsafe abortions every year in this region. One third of these are among young women under the age of 25. The vast majority of adolescents don't have access to any form of contraception, despite the clear need for it. Why is this? Sometimes young people don't know about their contraceptive options, or are embarrassed and fearful to ask for it. And in some countries, laws prohibit the access of sexual and reproductive health services, including contraception, to unmarried people. In the Asia-Pacific region, there are half a million young people living with HIV. 95% of the 10,000 new infections among young people every year occur among certain groups. Yet only 30% of young men and less than 20% of young women have comprehensive knowledge of HIV. That leaves a majority of the young people who need this information and support on their own and in the dark. Look, there is no single solution, big or small. Instead, what we need are interlinked actions. Let's start with something fundamental, comprehensive sexuality education, which is age-appropriate and non-judgmental, is accurate and delivered by trained teachers, and is supported both in and out of schools. But comprehensive sexuality education will not work if there are no youth-friendly sexual and reproductive health services and counselling. And that must be private and confidential, affordable, accessible to all, delivered by trained providers. To enable young people to access these services, we must enact laws and policies that respect and protect their sexual and reproductive rights by ensuring their access to contraception and removing barriers based on age and marital status. Here's our responsibility to improve young people's sexual and reproductive lives. We need to support comprehensive sexuality education. We need to ensure that young people have full access to sexual and reproductive health services. We must amend or enact laws and policies that respect young people's sexual and reproductive rights. Let's create a world where young people's sexual and reproductive health and rights are promoted and protected. And let's do it now.